Hello friends, this video on statistics part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take one more example. I mean, see five people are asked about the, about the time in a week they spend doing social work. And they said 10, 7, 13, 20, 15 hours. So we have to find the mean time devoted. So mean is what? Add all the numbers. Okay, 10, 17, 13, 20 and 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 numbers divided by 2. It is 65 by 5. And 65 by 5 is nothing but 13. And it is all in hours. So put the unit. So the mean time these people devote for social work in a week is 13 hours. Right? So mean is also denoted by x bar. And there is nothing but sigma xi, where i is 1 to n. And divided by n. This is also a representation of mean. Sig x bar, that is mean, is nothing but sigma xi. i is changing from 1 to n, and you have to divide the whole thing by n. This is summation. Let's take one example. We have to find the mean of marks obtained by 30 students of this class 9th of the school. So, what do you have to do? It's nothing but you have to add all the number x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 till x30 and divide whole thing by what 30 so if you add all these number 10 plus 22 is 10 plus 20 plus 36 plus 92 plus 95 you add all this number plus 40 plus 50 plus 56, plus 60, plus 70, plus 92, plus 80, 8 plus 80, plus 70, plus 72, plus 70, plus 36, plus 40, plus 36, plus 40, plus 92, plus 40 plus 50 plus 50 plus 56 plus 60 plus 70 plus again 60 again 60 plus 88 the whole thing is actually divided by 30 so if you add all this you get 1779 by 30 that is nothing but 59.3 these many marks. But you see it is such a cumbersome process. It's a very time consuming process. So let's try to simplify this. So let's try in this way. 10. Okay. So we will take 1. 20. Take 1. 36. We will take 1. 92. Take 1. 95. Take one forty again one fifty again one fifty six is one sixty is one seventy is also one ninety two is already there eighty eight is not there so I'll put one eighty is also not there, but 1, 70 is already there, 72 is also there, I don't think so, 72, we will put 1, 70 is there, 36 is there, add 1, 40, add one more, 36, add 1 more, 40, add 1 more, 92, add one more, 40, add one more, 50, add one more, 50, one more, 56, one more, 60, 70, 60, 60, 60, 70, 60, 60, 88. So that means if you see the frequency which we have got, this is 1, this is 1, this is 3, 
this is 3, this is 1, this is 4, this is 3, this is 2, 4, 4, 2, 1, 1. This is Fi frequency and this is Xi, right? I need to multiply these two. So 10 into 1 is 10, 20 into 1 is 20, right? Something like this. 36 into 3 is 108, 92 into 3 is 3 into 6, 3 into 3 is 27, 95 into 1 is 95, 40 into 4 is 160, 50 into 3 is 150, 56 into 2 is 112, 60 into 4 is 240, 72 into 4 is 280, 88 into 2 is 176, 80 into 1 is 80, 72 into 1 is 70. Now you add this. So if you add this, you get again 1779. And then you can see that mean is nothing but sum of all observations by total observation, right? So that is nothing but sigma fi xi. Sigma fi xi is 1779. And sigma fi is you add this 2 plus 3, 5, 8, 9, 13, 16, 18, 22. 26 and 430. So by so you get 59.3. This is an easier way actually. You know, if, the table, if the list is very long, then this actually helps. Right? So here instead of uh, saying sigma xi by frequency, we are saying that sigma fi xi by sigma fi. Right? So we have created a frequency table, ungrouped frequency table. Right? Ungrouped frequency distribution table and with this if you have the ungrouped frequency distribution table you can use this formula mean is nothing but sigma fi x by sigma fi same value but easier to do let's understand the concept of median okay so the median as i told is the value of the given observation which divides it into exactly two parts for example there are one two three four five six seven people to find the median, the middle one is the median. Because three people are shorter than him, three people are taller than him. But if you have to put six people, then you have to take the average of these two and that becomes the median. Two people shorter than uh, taller than this, two people shorter than this. Right? So if the if the items count is two options. One is even, second is odd. So if it is odd in this case, right, so you just get the middle number. For example, if it is 7, so you have to take 7 by 2 or 7 minus 1 by 2. Sorry, 7 plus 1 by 2, fourth number, right. Yeah. And if it is even, for example, here 6, then you have to take what? 6 by 2 and 6 by 2 plus 1 with the values. And then you have to take average. Correct? So if it is odd, then you can easily find the middle one. Right? There will be one middle one. If it is even, there are two middle people. Just take average of this. Don't, if you are confused with the formula, don't remember the formula. Just understand. If there are odd number of items, easy to find middle number, that is the median. If, and you have to put in ascending order. That is critical. If or descending order also, any order, descending order, descending order. If it is, if the count is, if the item count is even, then you will get two middle numbers. Then you will take a mean of this. We will take some examples. Right. So, if you see, so the height of the nine students are given. Nine is what? Nine is odd. One, two, three, four. So, this is the middle guy. So, if you see here, Four people are shorter than him, four people are taller than him. So height of nine people are given, we have to first let's arrange in the ascending order. So minimum is 144 and then we have 145. Let's cut this. And then we have 147. 147 and 148. 147, 148. Then we have 149, then 150, then 150, 2, 55, 60, 152, 155, 160. So in this case, if you see the center guy is this guy and it has he has the height of 149 centimeter, thus the median of 
the height of the student of this class is 149 centimeter it is easy right they do this all are three different concepts median mean and mode don't get confused three different concepts all three representing the central tendency of the data the points scored by kabaddi team in the series of match are given we have to find the median see to find the median first thing we have to arrange in the ascending order minimum value is what 2 any other 2 no then 5 in 7 in either number number 7 and then 8 and then number 8 then we have 10 then more 10 two tens and then we have 14 And then fifteen, and then seventeen, and then eighteen, seventeen, and then eighteen, and then twenty-four, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-four, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and then forty-eight. So this is the data. Count. 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8,9,10,11,12,13,14,15,16 is an even number right so I have to take what 8th and the 9th 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8 and 9 these two values we have to take and you find the mean of this so mean of this will be what 10 plus 14 by 2 that is 24 by 2 that is 12 so the median for this particular data is 12 even though 12 score is not a valid score but the median will be 12 correct again the mode as i told mode actually will tell you which observation occurs most frequently and it is used typically by factory to decide for example which shoe size to make based on the model for example if size number 8 is most in demand they'll make more of class size 8 or in t-shirts let's suppose in the medium size is more in demand they'll make more of medium size t-shirts it's typically used by factory people to tell or for voting right which one is most uh, best teacher so the best teacher so everybody will say this is the best teacher and based on that they will give the best teacher award to someone okay so this is mode right it is nothing but most frequently mode is most frequently is you know mode is most frequently Let's take one example. So we have to find the mode of the following marks obtained by twenty students. Let's arrange in ascending order first. Minimum is two. Then we have three, three. Then we have four. One, two, three. Then we have five. One, two, two fives. Then we have six. One, two, three, six. Then we have seven. One, two, three, seven. Then we have eight. We actually don't have eight. Then we have nine. One, two, three, four, nines. And then we have ten. One and two. So if you see that the nine has a maximum frequency, it is four times. Seven is three times, six is three times, five is two times, four is three times, three is two times, ten is two times, two is one time. So nine is the one which is most frequent. So the mode will be nine. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials, and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.